Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming in. In this episode, we're going to continue uh, work on our base. Uh, so the very first thing I want to mention is that you guys... Uh, I had multiple comments, actually. Um, with you guys telling me that in order to make reinforced glass, you have to connect water to the glass working bench. I didn't know that. I thought the water just spit, uh, sped things up, but it does indeed say that an active water connection will produce reinforced glass building pieces. And then you were telling me that uh, once we do that, then, then the reinforced glass will have the same strength. <coughs> Gesundheit, excuse me. <laughs> it will have the same strength as stone, um, which means it's still going to take damage, but it, it's going to be, you know, pretty minimal damage and we can keep it repaired. So that's good news because that means then we can go back to um, the idea of a glass greenhouse. However, we aren't going to do that in this episode uh, because I want to focus on getting our our pump house and utility building uh, finished in this episode. Also, um, they came out with an update that said performance improvements across the board. That's fine and good, but whatever performance improvements they did uh, are not working here at my base on my computer. Everything is still very framey, very stuttery. Um, and yeah, I don't see any any improvement in performance at all whatsoever here at this base on my machine, which is very disappointing. Um, I haven't tested uh, aiming because they did. I, I just glanced at the performance improvements list. I didn't read it in detail, but they did mention something about fixing some aiming things. So it's possible that they fix the you know iron sights on the rifle, but we won't be able to tell that until the time comes. Okay, so we got a storm as you can see here, and we're gonna wait until that is finished. And I wanna see where, oh my goodness, the frame rate's so bad it's giving me a freaking headache. Ugh. Um, all right, I wanna see where we are on concrete. So we have 87 concrete mix there, but it looks like we're gonna need to make some more steel rebar. We're gonna need some walls, and we can make a total of one wall, look at that. That means um, more steel rebar. And actually, you know what? I might have... We might put these half pitches to use. Um, but, do I have some concrete walls down in here? I got stone. Yeah, I do. Okay, good. So we have concrete walls. We have a reinforced door there. One concrete floor. Okay, so, uh, I think I'm just going to wait for this storm to subside and then uh, we'll go out and, and start putting this thing together. Oh, there is one other thing I want to, uh, just an announcement uh, that I want to make. I am, once again, uh, going to be gone uh, out of town, going to New York for a week, uh, for all next week. Um, so... This will be the last Icarus video I'm going to have time to put out before I leave. Um, I will return. Let me look at the calendar here. I will return on uh, Monday the 3rd. Monday, April 3rd. And then shortly thereafter, I'm trying to remember, I think my... Yeah, I think I get back fairly early in the day. So probably sometime, if the, if everything goes well, I might be able to record the next episode on the 3rd and get it out to you guys on the 4th, but it might be the 5th. So April 4th, April 5th, somewhere around in there is when you will see the next episode after this. So is what it is. That's, that's the way work goes. <laughs> so this will be the last episode. Like I said, I'll get out to you guys until April 4th or 5th. And then after that, we'll resume and keep on going. So I want to make sure everybody is aware of that. Okay, did I pick up that half piece? I did. All right, the storm is probably chilling out enough for us to to go out and get back to work on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull that piece up. Well, after we repair it. And we'll 
put the concrete piece in. Okay, now let's put the walls in. We're going to need one, two, three, uh, five more. We're going to need five more concrete walls. Very good. Okay, that takes care of that. Now let's take these half pitch ceiling pieces. And we're going to want this one. And then this piece needs to be this guy. Okay, cool. Now, we want these half pitch roof pieces here. Uh, yeah, there we go. And we're going to need one, two, five more of those to finish up. Beautiful. Okay, so our utility shed is now complete. So the next step is going to be uh, to move the Jinnies down here. And I think, uh, let's see, the one we, we have to keep well, we don't have to, but we should try and keep running constantly, or as constantly as possible, is the one that's connected to the the freezer. Well, and even potentially the refrigerator, I suppose. Let's take the fish curry and throw that in here. In fact, we can we could actually stand to eat some, and we'll eat one of those. And for now, let's just have uh, one of these, and that should be good enough for now. All right, so in here we've got those two pieces. And this Jenny runs the furnace and the grinder. And that doesn't have to stay on right now. So let's pick this one up too. This one's running the refrigerator. This one's running the freezer. So what we could do is get these first two in place and then get the wiring done and then switch the freezer over to and the freezer uh, freezer and the refrigerator over to these guys. Okay, so let's get make sure we're lined up and straight facing due north and then back up until right about there. All right. Um, placing this one, well, let's just see if we can do it from here. I might have to temporarily cover the, the floor. Okay, we're facing north. We're right about in the center. Yeah, we can, we can do it from here. Good. Okay, nice. We're going to put the water pump. Uh... Does the pipe... Well, let, let's put the first one smack dab in the center. And then we can put 
another one um, on each side later as needed. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to wire these up first and get them connected to the freezer and the refrigerator. So, the first thing I need to figure out, because nobody mentioned this in the comments, is can I converge all of these on one main line? And what I want to do is I want to run in, uh, run the wiring underneath our bridge here and then through this foundation up underneath the wall and then into the, the building there. Okay, guys. Um, let's... Uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do is... Um, let's get rid of all the previous piping and uh, wiring from before. Uh, right clicking on that's not doing anything. What about here? Okay, that gets rid of that. Because um, I want to rerun all of this in a little bit neater fashion. It's not letting me take that apart. There, okay. We have to do it from the node and then everything to the right or beyond that, not really to the right, but that's the section that we have to take apart, okay. So I wanna get all this stuff out of here so we don't confuse it with the new stuff that we're gonna do. That's probably, yeah, okay. There's a piece here. That wiring in the water will stay there. Okay, that can go away. That doesn't want to come up for some reason. Guess we have to, yeah, do it from there, okay. Let's go upstairs. Okay, I think that takes care of all of the piping. And now let's do the wiring next. Um... It's still powered, right? Okay, this we can take apart. That wiring there doesn't look bad. Um, we might keep that in place. I mean, it's nice and, you know, running nice and straight along the ceiling. So I think we'll we'll keep that one the way that it is. We could maybe move it over this way just a little more so that it comes down straight. But the thing is, is if I'm not if I'm not hanging on to the wiring tool, it's not really that obvious. So yeah, I think yeah, I think we'll leave that one the way it is. This is going to have to be changed though. Uh, and I don't want the wiring, that wiring to stay there. So let's disconnect that and that. Okay, so that disconnected our freezer.
that is going to the stove. And it, I want that to be redone too because it's not very straight. But I think we'll keep this piece here for the moment until I can straighten it up a little bit better. Okay, let's just take these down too. Our freezer is going to be, and Fritz is going to be offline for a little bit, but it is what it is. I wonder if the ice. You know what we, how much does it, how expensive is it to make a nice box? I think we do that in there, in here, don't we? Do we even have ice box learned? That's going to be tier two. How many points? Uh, 23 points. Yeah, we've got plenty of points. All right. So to make the ice box. We just need some wood and copper nails, uh, both of which are in here. Okay. Put the copper nails in here. And I'm just going to temporarily stick the ice box right here. Um, I want it out of the way is the thing. So actually, yeah, let's just put it up here. And it's not going to stay there, but that's where it'll be while we're doing all this wiring. So that'll at least give that food a little bit of protection. Uh, this stuff in here is on its own. Not a big deal if that stuff goes bad. Okay. Now, let's go over here. And we want to... Can I fall, fall down this way? Yeah, I can. Okay, so this is our ramp. So what I want to do is... Uh, let's just make like a little node underneath each generator. Where are you? It's not a piranha. <laughs> okay, so did that make a socket there? Yes, it did. have to go back up to connect to the other one. So let's do that. And we'll try and put that as close as possible in the center there. Fish are such a pain in the ass. Fish curry for us, baby. Okay, so now can I take this 
and attach it to that. I can. That's good. Okay. Man, what the hell is up with all the piranhas? Oh, I was in, uh... Command console mode. I couldn't figure out why it was so dark. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to grab and go over to here. And we're going to go right in the center here, as close as possible to the center. So we have a, a reasonably neat wiring grid there. And then we're going to run this underneath here. Good God, why are there so many piranhas around? They're all just waiting for me to come under water and do all my wiring, and then they just gank. Okay. Can you leave me alone for a little bit now, fish, please? Anybody else? Okay. Now, did we... I don't think we managed to get a connection. No, we didn't. Okay. The problem with under the water is it's hard to hold still because you kind of drift all over the place. So what I'm going to do is take this right down the center and attach it there. I can't quite get underneath there is the problem. Let's do another attachment right there and then this wiring will come up to the center of the wall there and then go straight up that way Um, okay, so we're, we might need to, do something a little different here because the marble kitchen bench is right exactly where that wire would come up at. Okay, so let's go back outside. Um If I put it here, then will it come up on the other side of the kitchen storage thing and be straight like right here yeah i think that's as good as that's going to get okay so now So this is basically the main outlet coming into the building. I've changed my mind about this. We're going to do this differently. We're going to try and get it more in the corner. Okay, so let's attach to there and go 
We don't want to go all the way up to the top because it's we have to compensate for the curve. could do is that and then run this along here to about here and run this to maybe there and then into there. Or, if we move this over a little bit more, maybe to here, and then into there. Yeah, I mean, that looks all right, I think. I don't like that that doesn't hook neatly in there. It's kind of at an angle, but I don't know if we can really do much about that. Okay, and then we can run a line off of here down to the fridge and a line off of here down to the freezer. Except for it doesn't come straight down. You know what? Instead of doing that, actually, let's do let's run the freezer connection down below. I think that'll look better. It's really difficult to get this to look nice. So, you know, we're going to just, we're going to get it as neat as we can without worrying too much about it. Okay, so that powers the freezer from here and hides that wire altogether. I, I just wish these junctions, you know, would stay nice and flat and not be at that little janky angle, but I don't know how, how to fix that. Okay, so then, so this power is coming off of the water mill. Um, Okay, why don't we take that off of there? Oh, for goodness sakes. Come over here. Okay, so now we're going to... Uh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Connect to that. What I might actually do is I want this to run a l to this corner here. So why don't we go to there and there. And there. And 
of there. And then we'll run this along here. The stove's going to be kind of right behind this beam here. So if we do a junction here, then we can hook into the stove here. Okay, good. So that powers up the stove. And the stove's not something that, you know, needs constant power. So if it's not powered right now, it just means that we got to go unclog our water wheel. We got bad guys out in the yard. That boar was just sleeping. <laughs> that was not the place for you to sleep, boar. Sorry to say for you. all that stuff in there even though it's gonna go bad uh, well pretty soon let's have one of these two all right let's sleep uh, we need we need wood we need wood going to pick these guys up. It'll be nice to get these out of the house just both for the space that we'll gain back and reducing the noise. Nice and peaceful and quiet in here now. And, of course, the piranha's right there. I didn't even mean to jump in the water either, by the way. That was an accident. Okay. Go back over here. So we want to get this right in the center, or close enough to the center anyway. And then up against the wall right before it clips. And same thing over here. We might have to stand on top of the water pump to get this one in all the way. Or right here. Good. Okay, let's put fuel in there. Fuel in there. Um, I want to actually go get full cans of fuel. So now, for here, we should be able to just connect... Um, oh, shit. Hold on. Any more?
Okay, I forgot to um, attach before I got in the water there. in the middle or as close as possible anyway and we'll do the same thing with the other Jenny from you to you and we'll connect from you into you there so that connects all four of the generators into the grid I have to assume at this point that all of the power is being combined onto the single line that we brought into the base. Okay, so that's powered. That's powered. Uh, that won't be powered until we get our uh, water wheel fixed. Okay, good. So we should be able to Grab everything back out of here and put it back in the freezer now. Um, we have a regular storm coming in. I might just keep that ice box there for the moment. Not necessarily going to stay there permanently. Okay, so we need to get power back to our material processor. Um, so we could try and do that from down here. Or we just bring it down from the top. Yeah, we, I mean, we could almost just... do that. Looks a little bit weird, though, with that wire hanging out, hanging out like it is. So I need to... could get it in the corner there and then we can connect back into the freezer okay why isn't that working
Okay. So, let's go... From there to there. From there to there. From here to... There. doesn't it show these on? I must have disconnected it outside. Okay. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Gonna, we're actually going to have to go back in the house while we hang on to the wire. And then click there. There we go. Okay. It's back now. So that powers the fridge back up, the freezer back up. That now has power. And then we'll redo this connection again. Over to there and then to there. And that has power. Good. Okay, I think we've repowered everything downstairs. Um, this requires power, but it's not, it's not really something we need to have powered all of the time. But what we might do is move it over here and bring a an outlet upstairs so we have one up here and it might work best to run it maybe off the corner Now we also have um, we also have mod benches too that I think require power that we could put over here. But I think for now we'll just take and put this right there. And I'm not even going to hook the power up for now. Um, we'll hook it up when we need it when we need it Okay, we'll put all this stuff back in here
Good. So much nicer to have those jinnies outside and have this space up here now. I like it. All right, now the next thing is let's run. Let's go clear the water wheel out here. And while we're out here, we might as well grab some silica, uh, silicon too, or silica, silica. Yeah, not silicon. Oh, those water wheels are still running. Hmm, okay, so... Then why is our stove not powered? Something's disconnected somewhere. Okay, yeah, that's showing that it doesn't have power. Um, are those actually not connected to each other? Might have been the problem. Now let's see if it's powered. I just assumed it was... Yes, it's powered. Okay, that's what it was. Good. Okay, so we fixed that issue. And the last thing we need to do power-wise is our lights. So... Uh, and... I do think I want to put lights upstairs also. So the center of this room is right about here-ish. So we want to put the light... I think... Right there. And then let's pick this light up. Okay, in the center of this room is right about here ish. And I want it also lined up one, two, three, four, one, two. We need to move this over just a, a hair. Right there is about the middle. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, but it needs to be close enough to not be an eyesore. Those are the rules. Okay, and then this can go right there. All right, now for the lights, um, what I might do is disconnect that and that and run a cable to here. Oh, that stupid curve. Okay, so that means we need to move that over a little more. Maybe right to about here. Yeah, that looks good. That one's almost, almost where it needs to be already. If we just held it back a little bit. Do 
See, now it wants to curve. Unless we... Yes. Now it wants to curve. Before it wasn't curving. I don't know what the difference is, but... Okay. I guess we'll put it here then. Still needs to go back a little more. So maybe to about there. Thinking right about there. That's pretty straight. Okay, and then we'll... Eh... I mean, it, it could work. Why does it always take the one off, all the other ones off, except for the one you want it to? Man, what's the deal with that? I think I want that to go there, and then down to there. Yeah, that looks better. Hey, have they fixed the aiming on these weapons? There was a wolf over there. Oh yeah, there he is. That, the, the uh, sneak shot thingies still worked. It was just basic aiming that wasn't working. I guess we won't know until we get a bear attacking us or something. You know, we need to also harvest the garden before the crops wither, especially these. See if the aiming's fixed. Hmm. Maybe it is. That looks promising. That looks promising. Another bear. Okay, let's try this bear. Yeah, I don't think that's hitting him. That did. Yeah, I don't know. I I, I can't tell for sure, but it kind of seems like maybe it's fixed. Yeah. That wasn't a sneak shot. That was just a basic aim and, and uh, shoot and kill. I think maybe they fixed it, you guys. Aiming down the site. It's working. Yay! Okay, finally. Like I said, I didn't I didn't read the patch notes in detail, but I definitely noticed they had some things in there about aiming, so that's good to know. Man, we're just shooting up the countryside. 
I want the bones in particular for, um, for, uh, you know, whatchamacallit. I don't need that or that. For epoxy. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to have to wrap up this episode because it is time to do that. Um, so the plan for the next episode will be to work on the water. We got the we got the electrical all set up and working good. And so, yeah, the plan for the next episode will be to work on the water. So we'll get the water pumps installed. And then the piping run to all of our crafting stations and to our garden. And then we're going to re do the garden in glass or the greenhouse i mean actually <laughs> it looks nice the way that it is i still think the greenhouse will look cooler though so yeah that is the that is the tentative plan um uh, once again just want to remind you guys that i am going to be out of town all next week um and will not be able to of course uh, release videos so this will be the last Icarus episode until I return. It should be either Monday the 3rd or Tuesday the 4th. I mean, I get home on Monday, but I don't know if I'll have time to, to do a video and have it out um, by Tuesday. So it'll probably either be Tuesday the 4th or Wednesday the 5th for the next video. And then we'll, we'll continue on from there. Um, I, I, sh I won't have any more out-of-town trips un until the end of April, so we should have about th hopefully three weeks or so of a normal schedule. Um, which for this series usually means you know, two to three videos a week if I can if I can get you know, back on that normal schedule to do that. And then we'll continue with that. Okay, so guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.